Well, we'll see if this is any better. I'm interested to see the differences in this game and um, regular Sun and Moon. Ah, it's good old Kukui again. Hey there, good evening. So the day has finally come that you're moving to Alola. That could be the reason the region is chock full of nothing but rare Pokemon. Yeah, there's no shortage of cool Pokemon out here in Alola either. Such mysterious creatures. Rockruff, cute to fly. I'll play with you later, so cool your jets. Alright, I gotta ask you some questions about yourself so I can introduce you to everybody. So which photo should I use for your trainer passport? Oh. Completely different looking characters this time around. go with my girl Aloy this time. Ten four, good buddy. I'll let everyone out here know you're on your way. Aloy. Yeah, that's a name that hits you like a trop kick right to the head. Woo! Can't wait to see you in person then, cuz. Which one is harder, do you think? This one or, or the regular sun and moon? Way harder? All right, I'm in for it. Oh, there she goes. Up to no good. Stealing Pokemon, unbelievable. Yeah, I'll, I'll see if I can find a better port of, uh, of those games. Well then, I think this was a little more spectacular this time. Three months later. Ah, could anything be more soothing? The first evening spent under Alola's calm moon. Now wait a minute. The mom's the same, but they got different kids? In this version? First evening spent under Alola's calm moon. I feel like I could stay out here all night. But that's enough of that. Time to unpack all these boxes. Well, she gave up on that dream of staying outside all night. Real quick. Go get a life for me, would you?
Oh, look, it's a Nintendo Switch. Was there an, it wasn't a Nintendo Switch in the last one, was it? I think it was still a, a Wii U. If I chose boy, th this room would have been a lot more masculine, I'm assuming. Which also shows a lot about what they change for which gender you choose. It's a new Korak your mom bought for you. You were out like a light, weren't you? You ought to be full of energy by now. And just look, it's already night here. It's completely the opposite of Kanto, but then we're so far away here in Alola. So Aloy, are you excited to meet some Alolan Pokemon? Yeah, I am. That's right, I want to hurry up and meet some too. We're living in Alola region now, the beautiful islands everyone wants to visit. I'm sure the Pokemon living in a place like this must be friendly, right? I might not just be a bad idea to go out and see for yourself and have and how friendly Pokemon here are. Right, Aloy? And get ready for a bit of exploring. Your bag and hat and things should be hanging on your coat. Stand in your room. I just tried to pick them up and the game wouldn't let me. Ooh, oh, they put a quick button for save. What was that? Oh, that's, where, that's the Pokemon slots. A Loyalin Pokemon. Yep. You checked your coat rack and grabbed your bag and hat. Ah, oh, nice shoes, girl. Oh, but even so, Aloy, try to be careful walking through the tall grass. Still, I have to admit, I'd love to have new Pokemon around. Why don't you head toward Iki Town and see what you discover in Alola? I'm guessing I'm gonna discover Tapu Koko, uh, a weird Pokemon called Nebi, uh, Rotom that goes inside my Pokedex. I'm betting those are all things I'm gonna discover, along with Totem Pokemon and Island Challenges and even an evil corporation. Watch it, cuz! It's dangerous to get too close to, to a Pokemon while it's using one of its moves. They changed, like, they changed the layout uh, slightly, right, of the islands. I'm the best ferret, the best ferret there ever was. You're just wrong. What the hell? Is this how, this isn't how it happened the first time. It's a completely different game. Who'd have thunk it? <laughs> hey there, cousin. Hang on, I know you. You're Aloy, right? You, okay? I saw you get attacked like that. Oh, you okay? I was scared spitless! Okay. You and me both, cousin. I'm looking after these Pokemon, but they dash right out there to save 
on their own to save you. Welcome to Alola, the Pokemon Paradise. That's what I'm supposed to be saying. I'm Cuckoo, yeah, the Pokemon Professor. People in Pokemon live and work together here in Alola too. Don't you ever forget. You can go anywhere, yeah, as long as you've got Pokemon in your corner. Wild Pokemon could be lurking in the tall grass, yeah, just wait to leap out and just waiting to leap out and bite you, but you'll be fine if you've got a partner of your own. Hey there. Hey, let me introduce you to the Pokemon that helped you just now. This is a grass type Pokemon Rowlet. <laughs> this is a fire type Pokemon Litten. It's a water type Pokemon Popo Poplio. Wark! You see, the fact of the matter is, one of these Pokemon will become your first partner. Woo! Maybe that's why they wanted to save you. Go on and choose the one you'd like to keep as your partner, cousin. So that the other one can feel left out? Unbelievable. Why don't you go ahead and choose the one you'd like to keep as your partner, cousin? Go in water this time. So you're gonna go with the water type Pokemon, yep. and cozy in there. Alright, let's get going to Iki Town, Aloy. Woo! Time to meet the Island Kahuna. Island Kahuna? Truth is, your partner Papolio of yours is a gift from the Kahuna, not me. So let's go show it off and say proper thank you, cousin. It may not be the only gift you get. In case you hadn't heard, the Kahunas are all crazy strong Pokemon trainers. Be careful out about getting into battle with one. Just like uh, the last one had like Ember or some shit, whatever the fuck it was. Ba 
Poplio was identified. That's a Poplio, all right. It's a Poplio if I've ever seen one. You see? Nah, I just decided to play a different, a different Pokemon game. I'll see if I can find a different version from a different uploader. That one, that Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire were, were glitching too much. Oh, damn it, that's not what I meant to do. Let's go up to level 7 real quick. If this game is truly harder, I want to have the advantage. If I actually do some training in here rather than just running through and only battling the trainer. So how was the thing with AT&T? What, the meeting? It is just a regular meeting. Um, they're gonna take on trying to get me my job back, but who knows. That would be so sweet though if they got me my job back. Thanks for asking though. Here we go. If you happen to pick a potion somewhere, use it in your Pokemon when it's low on HP. It'll be feeling better before you know it. best job I ever had, not my favorite. There's a difference. Ooh, a Caterpie. Pokemon are you gonna choose as your partner? Have you decided? Oh yeah, I'm Hal. I couldn't wait for us to pick our partners together, so I came to find you myself. Quark. Hell yeah, the pay and the benefits and the hours. 
Everything was good. It was a good, steady job. I, I worked 40 hours a week minimum, and the, the pay was the most that I've ever made per hour, and I had health benefits, dental, life. It's a good job. You already picked your Pokemon! Sorry about that, Hal. We want... We had a little accident on the way here, so I ended up letting Aloy choose her partner first without you. Are you gonna choose a Litten? Which is like completely weird that the last time that they chose the one that was weak to the one I chose rather than the one that was stronger to the one that I chose. Or you're gonna choose... Are you gonna choose the Owl again? The smart choice. Partner will be Litten. I choose you. Okay, I guess not. Guess you always want to lose to me. I see. We're gonna do so much awesome stuff together. Just you wait and see. You take good care of Rowlet, okay? You better believe I will, Hal. All right then, Rowlet. Everybody, time to get back in your balls for now. Wait up, me and Linton have a favor to ask. Be our opponent in our first ever Pokemon battle together. No. Yeah, I'm gonna wait for you, so you better come back and battle me. Oh, shit, okay. Well. Oh, you're not gonna let me buy until I do? I see how it is. I guess this is still a thing. There you go. I don't know why my cursor is that. Let's see, is this easy to scroll? No. Still the same old bullshit. up me and Linton have a favor to ask hey Tiago yes this is my first time playing ultra moon I just finished my playthrough of of Sun uh, I haven't played Pokemon um, in years and I'm just coming back to the franchise with with Sun and ultra moon so I'm checking out to see how ultra the ultra series is different from the original series of, of Sun and Moon be our opponents in the first ever Pokemon battle together. Yeah, okay, let's do it. Hold on, before you step into the ring, let's make sure the pop Poplio is up to it. Oh, damn you! You jerk, I just used that potion. I'm surprised that they choose the, uh, your, like, quote-unquote rival chooses the one that's not superior to you in element-wise, or whatever. another level. Nice. Whoa, that was awesome, Aloy. You and Poplio were both so cool. You gotta kinda, you gotta have the kind of battles where everyone has fun. And you and your partner, Pokemon too, you know. 
Alright Aloy, you and Hal both bought, brought out the best in your partners and pulled off some spectacular moves, yeah? Icky Town is right up those stairs. Come on Aloy. You should totally check out Icky Town. Uh, yeah, I, the storage renews every every Tuesday. I still have space in my Google Drive. Um, so, Yu Yu Hakusho will probably be up on Monday. Monday or Tuesday. I don't know. Maybe maybe Monday. Definitely Tuesday. Probably Monday. Definitely Tuesday. how the I, like the layout of the city is slightly different it looks like they did a lot more than just tweak it they added quite a bit and we're here this is where right here is Iki Town all right I'll check you out later um, this town is where folks come to worship the Pokemon that watches over Mele Mele Island. Tapu Koko keeps us all safe and happy, see? Looks like the Kahuna's nowhere to be found, though. I guess there must be some trouble somewhere on the island that needs fixing, yeah? Yeah, the Kahuna wandered off without a word to anybody, singing a little ditty or something. Hey, I got an idea for you, Aloy. If you head through the village and up the hill, you can visit the ruins and be that belong to Tapu Koko. That's our island's guardian deity, yeah? Why don't you go and introduce yourself? If you're real lucky, maybe you can actually get a glimpse of the guardian deity yourself. Ha! Little do you know. I'll stick around here and wait to see if the kahuna comes back. All right, Lily. I caught you red-handed stealing that Pokemon. Mahalo Trail. I know, I know. I'll take you to the ruins. So please stay in the back. We could get in trouble if anyone sees you.
They definitely are more expressive. Their facial features are definitely more expressive in this game. You were right about that, Swift. Who are you? Never mind me, I have I have to help it, please. Save Nebby. Pew. The Spearow are attacking it. But I'm not a trainer, I can't. Please save Nebby. I'll heal your Pokemon for you, so. Alright, let's go do this. A wild Spearow appeared. out yet. Looks pretty strong though. <laughs> you managed to chase off one spear, but oh, there are still more. Please. Help Nebby if you can, but be careful. It looks like the attack may have damaged the plank bridge, too. Alright, um, I have to go put my daughter to bed. I will be back in, like, three minutes.
All right. Time to save Nebby, the Nebster. Nebula Orion. I'm just running. It's not like I'm going to actually fall through. Goodness, you tried using your power again, didn't you? Oh, Nebby, you know what happened last time you used it. You couldn't move for ages after that. I don't want to see you like that again. No, I should, shouldn't say that. I'm sorry, Nebby. I know you were trying to save me that time, and I couldn't even help you in return. What's that? Pew, pew! A sparkling stone. Please forgive me. I am so grateful to you for helping us out of that dangerous spot. Are you the Kahuna? I'm Lily, and I suppose this stone must belong to you. Sparkling stone. You open the key items pocket and put the sparkling stone away inside. Please, don't tell anyone about this, about seeing Nebby. It's a secret, okay? Come on, into the bag, Nebby. I'm worried we might get attacked again by some wild Pokemon or something. I know it's too much for me to ask, but do you think we could see... You think you could see us back to town? I guess. Oh, Aloy. You already met Lily, huh? She's my assistant, yeah? Yeah? Lily, I thought you were with the Kahuna. Yeah? Kahuna, holla. He said that I'd had something to attend to, so he left town. I was just, um, taking a stroll up Mahalo Trail when I waited for him to return. And that's how you met our new neighbor, Aloy, huh? She just got to Alola yesterday. Help her find her way around, yeah? It's nice to meet you. The Kahuna's back! Kahuna Hala has returned! Our Guardian's Chosen One is back! Only one of the strongest Pokemon users in all Alola, yeah? Yeah? Have I missed something? There you are, Kahuna Hala. Was there some kind of trouble? Aha! Ah, ha Just caught in the, in the middle of some brawling rock rough, that's all. Sorry, Lily, what were you saying before? For some reason, I thought I saw Tapu Koko flying about. Um, yes, Kahunahala. Nebby got attacked by some Sparrow on the plank bridge. This same Nebby that I just said was a complete secret and that should hide in my bag and no one should know about. And Aloy here helped protect it. But the bridge collapsed and I thought about... I thought both of them might fall to the bottom of the ravine. And that's when the island guardian deity swooped to save them. That's something you don't hear every day. Although it is said to protect us, our Tapu Koko is a rather fickle creature. Yet our guardian was moved to save you. 
Kukui, my boy, I think we have cause to celebrate. Looks like we have the brave and kind new Pokemon trainer in our midst. I'm glad to meet you, child. I am Hala, the Kahuna of Mele Mele Island. Gala Gala Island. Gala Gala. Okay. Young Kukui told me of your coming. I am glad we got the chance to meet today. Oh, when did you get out again? Um, this entire time. While you were running your mouth. I know that Kahunahala and the professor will keep you safe from any harm, but you shouldn't... You should stay in the bag and out of sight. It's safer that way. Abby, well, it seems to have taken a liking to you. I... I have read the Pokemon like it when you pet them and take care of them, you know? I do know. I did play the first version of this game. Alright! That's a lovely gift for me to help make today's special Aloy. Pokedex is a real high-tech kind of tool, yeah, that can automatically record facts about any Pokemon that you meet. Your new partner, Poplio, is already registered and... Yep. Trainer Passport I had put together for you, yep. What is it, Hal? Did you forget something? You're seriously asking me that? Who's the one who forgot to tell anyone before wandering off for a little stroll and a sing without a word, huh? Stroll and a sing. I go on a stroll and a sing all the time. Would you be so kind as to give me a look at that sparkling stone you have there? Could it be? Tutu, isn't that... You were rescued by Tapu Koko at the bridge. Isn't that what I heard, Aloy? That's when I got that stone. So it even deigned, you, deigned to give you a stone. Perhaps you are here in Alola, Aloy, because this is where you were meant to be. Allow me to borrow this stone for now. Fret not, I will return it to you in the morning, in the evening. You have the makings of a brilliant trainer. I can see that light within you too. You must do us an honor of joining in our festival tomorrow. First, I'll make sure to get you home safe today, though, Aloy. Lily, you two should come with us, too. You two should come with us, too. Oh, you two, as in her and Nebby. I'm like, okay. Wouldn't want to go losing you twice one day. Twice in one day. Or that precious Pokemon of yours. Yes, I will keep an eye on. I, I can't read tonight. I'm just, I'm out of it. Oh, you, would you try not to escape the very moment that you were told not to wander off? <laughs> Welcome back, Aloy. Did you... F did you think of Kahuna Hala? Oh, and look who you got with you. Bar? I thought it said Bois. You came running out to help you. What a sweet little thing. Right there on Route 1. And it saved you. That's amazing. It must have been fate that you met. Two of you look great together. I feel happier just for looking at the pair of you. Bar? The next day. What a stunning sunset. All right, today's the day that I finally unpack. Is that the doorbell? Go see what it is, Aloy. Is he just gonna barge in this time? Yep. House full of girls, just barge right in. Hey there, Aloy, it's about time we set out for the festival, yeah? But first, I've got something to teach you. Yeah, now that you're a real Pokemon trainer, it's the most basic of all the basics. Come on to Route 1. You're gonna show me how to catch a Pokemon, ain't ya? 
I'm sure you'll have a good time with your new Pokemon, pal. Me and Meowth will be sure to unpack every last box here, you'll see. Aloy, hurry it up, cousin! Pretend you're a Pokemon and use your agility! So you know that wild Pokemon will sometimes jump out of the tall grass, yeah? Now that you've got the Popplio there, you cannot only fight wild Pokemon. You cannot only fight wild Pokemon, yeah? You can also try to catch them. Woo! I'm going to show you how to catch a wild Pokemon, all right? Keep your eyes on the prize. Alex, what's going on? Welcome back. It's not very effective. Oh, we gotta sped up there for a second. Rubin was caught. All right, got myself a Grubbin. Wild Pokemon do attack people if they get close, but catch them and they'll join your team and be a great help to you, yeah? And if your Pokemon get all tuckered out, you can always head home and rest up a bit, yeah? Here's some Pokeballs and potions to get you started out. Thank you there, sir. Let's see what's in this grass. Another grubbin. Well, I ain't catching you, grubbin. Rainy? What's a Drarini? Ooh, a picky pack. Should I catch one? Too bad. Oh, a Dratini. Oh, yeah, 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 Dratini. I know what that is, of course. You think I shouldn't catch a Vulpex either? Because I was thinking about it. So, alright, I can give that a shot. If you want to see it, why not? I can't catch full pecs, not in, uh, not in this version. Oh, that's a Sun exclusive? I can get Ice Sand Shrew. Oh, okay. Guys, the Pokemon trainers mean you know what's gonna happen, right? A Pokemon battle!
Eh, yeah, same difference. Paneri! Yeah, I wasn't gonna get Vaporeon this time around either. Um, Vaporeon was convenient because I needed a water type, but I definitely don't need a water type this time because I already have one. Yeah, you're you're right, you're right. find a male one this time. Because the male one looked really cool. Bug type Pokemon, you're really bugging me, you know? seems to want to play more with you. Would you like to play with... <laughs> this is interesting. Does this do anything? friendly Pokemon, you should try playing with it a bit, too. So it's just... just for this area. It's just a little interaction thing they added. Measuring the aura readings here, the numbers appear to be a bit high. What do you think, Captain? Well, this is certainly different. Hmm, what was that? Did you say something? I was, well, I was certainly not distracted by this foolish display of festivity. So, there are aura readings in this place. Perhaps it may be the effects of that one they call the Island Kahuna. But everything is so bright here in Alola. Far brighter than we had been told it would be. I feel it loathsome, it awful brightness. Even though this is the light we have sought for so long, Yes, I suppose you're right. You must carry out our investigation to return the light to our old own world as well, before the blinding one can awaken. What the fuck?
You! You are not a native to Alola either, are you? You seem to have come from far away. Okay. Well, that was certainly interesting and unexpected. Not as far you... Not as far you, you two weirdos. What? The Alola region is made up of our four islands, and each island has its own guardian Pokemon. Our festive today, our festival today is held to express our thanks and these great Pokemon guardian deities for always remaining by our side. Not as far as you... What are you talking about? Oh, did they come from, like, a different dimension or something? Well, you may call it a festival, but it's just this little thing you see here. There may not be many of us, but at least every last one of us here goes all out. So this one has like a completely different story than, than uh, the first one did, huh? So far it seems to be playing out that way. How is it, Aloy? Man, I thought you'd never make it. Me and Lynn have been waiting for ages. Hold on, didn't anyone explain to you about tonight? Oh yeah, right on time. But to what exactly? full-powered festival for Pokemon battling. We battle the name of Tapu Koko, pitting our best moves against one another in friendly competition to please our guardian. Woo! So you two will be taking part in the battle? I don't like seeing Pokemon fight one another since they so often end up getting hurt. But I'll be sure to watch you both. I kind of have to agree a little bit with Lily there. Your Pokemon have fought for you, so show them the same care in return, Aloy. Allow me to yield them for you this time. Are you ready for this Pokemon battle? Yep, let's do this. For all life on our islands, and for those who undertake the island challenge with joy in their hearts, we pray for your protection from them and all melee melee. May this Pokemon battle be an offering to our island guardian deity, Tapu Koko. The original Pokemon game design then. Yeah, but they were all also, what do you mean? Like, they were also, you're talking about like red, blue, and then yellow, gold, silver, and then crystal. You mean like that? Because they weren't, like, completely different from the originals, like, as much as this is. They still followed pretty much the same exact story. This seems to diverge quite a bit and add some extra stuff. Let's have fun with this, Litten. Before him stands Aloy, one who has met with Tapu Koko. You didn't fight Pokemon with Pokemon, you fought them yourself? Are you serious? That's how it was originally supposed to be? What a curious little thing Tapu Koko is, ha, huh? that's just typical of it. As long as we both have a good time, then I think we can call it a Great battle, eh? How do you know this? Prove that to me. I want to see an article or something on that.
Well, I haven't seen it, so send it to me. Find it. I'm not doing the research here. That's up to you. Good idea. I'm gonna be the very best, like many were before me. Level 10. What? It's already over? I received 140 for winning. Oh man, you cheapskate. Hoo-hee! Another great battle this year. I bet Tapu Koko liked it too. Phew, that was awesome, Aloy. That was a really great battle. I had a blast fighting you. It was a good battle. Even this. With this, even Tapu Koko. Koko! Ko! Oh, I heard it. You heard it yourself. Tapu Koko's song of approval. Oh, I nearly forgot. I think it's time you take this, Aloy. You slip the Z-ring onto your wrist. The Z-power ring onto your wrist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get the Z-power going. The Z-power ring is a mysterious armband that can draw out the power that lies deep within Pokemon. It can bring forth their Z power. We Kahunas can make Z power rings using stones like the sparkling stone that you received from Tapu Koko. Though you will need to undergo the island challenge to collect Z crystals for yourself if you wish to draw forth Pokemon Z power. And yet you have already received that sparkling stone. It seems Tapu Koko took quite a liking to you, or perhaps it has a mission for you. Well, it's time for you to get out there and start your island challenge. If you visit every island, maybe you'll figure out what the mission is. Every island? Then it grew a lot harder to find that. There's whipped cream, Pokemon messing with my search results. Oh, freaking whipped cream ice cream Pokemon. What the hell were they thinking? Putting a freaking blonde hair wig on a Diglett! You traveled each of the four islands here in the Alola region. The island challenge is about aiming to be the strongest trainer. The island challenge champion. Woo! Sounds great, right? I can't wait to have a real adventure. But I'll let Kahuna Hala explain the details. The island challenge Kukui spoke of is a journey to overcome our own limitations as you travel the far corners of the Alola and meet with other trainers along the path. It's a great adventure that children in their Alola region embark upon, along with their Pokemon once they reach 11 years of age. Allow me to give you both the Island Challenge amulet you will need. Awesome, thanks Tutu! I'm gonna make it through the Island Challenge and try to become an Island Challenge Champion. Here's one for you as well, Aloy. Please give it an Island Challenge tr a try. I don't think I have a choice. That's what the game wants me to do. Yeah, doing the Island Challenge is the best way to really get to know Alola. Tapu Koko is amazing, isn't it? I really, I hope that we can meet again someday and thank it for saving Nebby. Oh yeah? You know Aloy, I did save your life it did save your life too, and if and even gifted you that sparkling stone, even though you're a stranger to this place. Suppose it's time we get the kids home, yeah? Nebby, Alola's full of all kinds of wonders, isn't it? 
Yep, you have no idea. Captain! I was able to detect high levels of aura in this fully powered festival. I supposed you would. According to the re earlier research, it seems that the Z-Power Ring and this Tapu Koko creature are bathed in a great deal of light. Alula overflows with the light that was released by the Blinding One. I myself... I find myself rather envious. I wonder if we can find some way to use the great power that fills Alola for ourselves. That is precisely why the Ultra Re Recon Squad are here to make clear. Onward, there is still so much of Alola we have not seen, and we must investigate it all. And that's the way it was. And that's the way the cookie crumbles. And that's the way- uh-huh, uh-huh, I like it. Uh-huh, uh-huh. You're back already? I thought you want to stay in Iki Town longer. Especially right after that great Pokemon battle. Ooh, I was just captivated to see my own girl fighting in such perfect sync with her partner. Maybe it would be a good idea for you to try the island challenge thing. It's something you can only do in Alola, right? But right now, I've got a date with my bed. I dance my feet off at the festival. Night-night, sweetie. You get some sleep, too. The next day. Every day. What beautiful weather. I wonder what today will bring. Oh man, this pervert's busting in again. If it's Kukui, I'll probably let him in without waiting for us to open the door. Oh, hey, Lily. The professor said, Hey there, Lily. Bring me the great new, great new trainer. Woo! So I'm here to show you all the way to his Pokemon lab if you come with me. It's, um, it's this way. Aloy. Here, a little pocket money for you. Don't go wasting it on anything too silly. Be right back one more time.
Yeah, sorry about that. Um, I'm probably only going to go another 40 minutes, which will be until 10.30 my time. As, uh, I, I have a stomach ache tonight. I'm not feeling very well. I'm not going to keep playing um, past 10.30, which is in about 40 minutes. It's 9.50 where I live. Uh-oh. Oh, I paused it. I was like, what the hell? <laughs> like, it's not playing. <laughs> uh, you're already making friends, aren't you? And what a cute little friend you found. I knew Alola would be a great place for us. We just keep meeting wonderful people here. Me? Well, thank you. My name is Lily. It's very nice to meet you. It looks like it's finally your time to shine, sweetie. Enjoy yourself with the Poplio, and don't be gone too long. I'm never coming home. That's the last time you'll see me, Mom. You have a very nice mother, don't you? We should get going. I'll show you the Pokemon Research Lab. Not that way! You can reach the professor's lab by treading through the tall grass here. It says you can reach move, research moves better when he is so surrounded by Pokemon. Okay, cool. Since I'm not a trainer though, I have to rely on using repels all the time. You do know that using a repel keeps Pokemon from attacking, right? Well, usually. Oh, I mean Cosmog. Cosmog seems to be a very rare Pokemon. It came from far, far away. It used that power to save me once when I was in danger, but some other people want Cosmog for themselves to use that power. That's why only the Professor and Kahuna Hala and other people I can trust know about it. Can you keep a secret? Can you not tell anyone else about Nebby or what happened on that bridge, please? Oh, Aloy, do you want to know something neat? You can reach the Pokemon Research Lab without having to go through any patches of tall grass if you jump down. Just like this. If you'd like to take a shortcut, I suggest you try it too. I'll be heading to the lab now, so see you there. Oh yeah, Rock Ruff, let's go. Give it everything you've got. My body is ready. Woo! Oh, there they go again. The Pokemon Research Lab has its own unique charm, as I think you might agree. I've actually been um, imposing on the professor here for the past three months. I'm not much of an assistant, but it's, but it's the least I can do to pay him back for letting me stay. Maybe I'd be more help if I were a real Pokemon trainer too. Professor, he never stops researching moves, not even inside the lab itself. Looks like we have to patch that roof again, and I just washed the lab coat and finally gotten it clean, too. Now it'll be in shreds, and I'm no good at mending clothes, so he'll have to just buy a new one. We should probably go in before he does any more damage. Hey there, Aloy. Thanks for getting her for me, Lily. Of course, however I can be a help, I'm supposed to be your assistant, right? Rockruff's moves were just so stylish, and I was making good progress with my research. Say, Aloy, let me see your Pokedex for a second, yeah? So what do you think of the place? Not bad, right? But that's not why I called you here, eh? Here, it finally arrived. What's wrong, Lily? Don't make me do all the talking. See? There's this Pokemon inside your Pokedex called Rodham. Really? Oh, I can tell you about Rodham. It's a particular, a peculiar Pokemon with a body made of something like electricity. It can help take up residence. It can take up residence in machines. Yeah, buddy. 
And to put that, yeah, buddy. <laughs> and to put that crazy skill of Rodham's to work, it's next generation of Pokedexes, but it's only complete once Rodham has gone into this body, specially developed for it. Whole new way of people for people in Pokemon to communicate. Ooh, and there's only a few of these beauties out there in the world so far. And now I power up your Pokedex with the parts that I just got in. Hey now, sorry about that, Rodham. Guess I surprised you. Rodham, here boy, I powered up your favorite decks. Give Aloy here a helping hand, yeah? Hey there, pleasure to meet you. I am not a nervous or anything, okay? Check it out, Aloy, now Rodham can talk to you. It may take a while to get used to its new job, but I'd say Rodham is liking, taking a liking to you. And this will help how exactly? Aloy hasn't been here in Alola too long yet, so I decided to give her the special Rodham Dex to help her navigate around. Thank you. You can see where you're headed just by looking at the Rodham, and if you give it a little tap, you can even check the town map. Alola! The salty breeze sang to me and brought me here to you. Whoa ho ho! Is that a loft? That's awesome! No, it's not, it's private! The professor has been kind enough to let me use it. If you see a person or a Pokemon who needs help, you're just help them. Right, Aloy? How? And that's why I'm letting Lily stay up here in the loft, because she's a Pokemon. So, Aloy, I'm leaving this Rodham Dex in your hands. Rodham, you look after Aloy, yeah? So that's the Rodham Dex, eh? It's kind of cute. All right, Aloy, you too, Hal. Get a move on. Yes, sir! To the trainer school! We've got to learn the basics about being a Pokemon trainer through Pokemon battling. It's a long road to becoming an Island Challenge Champion, and the trainer school is the first step. What about you, Hal? I'm good, I just want to play with my Pokemon. The Island Challenge, so this is how the people of Alola connect with the world around them. And then there's a way that you and Popolio, Poplio, both chose one another. And now, with the Rodham helping you out as well, even Nebby likes you. I guess there's something about you that makes Pokemon feel comfortable when you're there by your side. Lily, you take care of Aloy, yeah? Until she gets used to the Rodham, help her find her way around. Pokemon Center is practically right next to your house, isn't it, Aloy? Well, if it's, uh, open now. Everything has fallen into darkness. Uh-oh. What the hell was that? Maybe yeah, don't worry, it's okay. It must have been what you call a solar eclipse. That happens when the sun gets covered up. Was a solar eclipse forecast for today? I think you would definitely know if a solar eclipse was supposed to be forecast. Ah, oh, well, it must be some kind of good omen, yeah? Uh, an omen? You think something good will happen? I'm, a, I'm with Lily. Sure, a long time ago, Alola was cloaked in darkness, yeah? But people say that when Alola's people and Pokemon blasted all that darkness away with light. And they also say that was why the people started gathering Z-Crystals, and that custom turned into the Island Challenge. Aloy, now that you've got the Z-Power Ring, I hope you'll collect tons of Z-Crystals. Woo! That's exactly what a move researcher like me needs to uncover new secrets. Professor, that's not why she's supposed to be doing it. Come on, Aloy, I'll show you the Pokemon Center. Do that every time I see a new Pokemon now. Oh no, not young.
nice. Oh, there was Awakening right there, too. Let's go! Kneecaps? Did he say kneecaps? NK. Ooh, what is this thing? That looks cool. to uh, trade it or something. Here, let me show you the Pokemon Center. Follow me. If you talk to the woman at the counter, she can restore your Pokemon to perfect health. It's amazing, isn't it? I can't stand seeing Pokemon in pain. You can also deposit Pokemon in the PC here or take them out. And the Pokemon, you can buy all kinds of items to keep during your trials. Um, one second. I'm gonna... When it's level 30 plus, you gain a level you need to flip your DS upside down. You need to flip it upside down to evolve it? better. I'll, I'll implement that tomorrow. For now, I'm just gonna keep going. At the Pokemon, you can buy all the blah, 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 blah. Okay, cool. That's kind of weird. I wonder if there's a way I can do that with this. See if you can, if you can change the, uh, the orientation or whatever you would call it on, on Citra. Look that up. go to school. So the trainer school, this is, oh yeah, it's right next to the Pokemon Center. Well, maybe there's like a setting for motion controls or something. And you can like tell it which way you want it to go. I don't know, I'm just guessing. Maybe there is, maybe there isn't. You see the trainer school is... It's, uh, what in the world? Well, it looks like we won't be able to be going that way anytime soon. Thanks to Toro's there, but we were only planning to go as far as the trainer school anyway. We'll just have to... We'll just have to, We'll just leave that for someone else to deal with. Come follow me.
Professor Kukui, is this the child you told me about? Yeah, Aloy's a real tough one, too. Put her through the ringer. Good, Teach. No! Gotta be four Pokemon trainers here at the school, Aloy. The experience will surely help you and your Pokemon grow stronger. Yeah, actually, speaking of the experience, why don't you take this? Oh, yeah. There we go. That's what I like. All right, let the lesson begin. Too in daytime because I guess the day and night is day and night is reversed depending on which game you get. If my precious Bonsly take damage in a Pokemon battle, I want to use a potion on it. Okay. Youth athlete Hiromi. Oh my god, she hit the Pokeball like a, like a badminton. Oh wait, that's a rock Pokemon. I should've used, uh, I should've used Water Gun. One. Don't worry, I'll heal any pain that was caused by our defeat. It has to be held upside down during the battle before it levels up, and it has to stay upside down until it levels up. Yeah, who the hell's bright idea was that? You can do more than just healing your Pokemon's HP too, you can even boost their stats and things like that. Cool as an incinerator, burning garbage can help reduce the volume of waste. All right, you're the reason there's global warming, all that pollution. I blame you. Poke Rodham in the eye? Did Rodham do that in the last game? You wanna know why I'm standing here? Because I'm the strongest, that's why. I won't even bother unless you can beat everyone else here. Grass, fire, water. Which would, which would win in a matchup between water and fire? I wonder. Rotto Lotto. Okay. Interesting. Every time his eyes are half closed.
Baby doll eyes, no. The Rodham decks and like during the battle sequence, that stuff looks cooler on the bottom screen. Oh, what is this thing? Pokemon? I, how the hell am I supposed to know? I guess I should have known because it's dark in color, but... God, it's not even trying to go in the ball. I'll set you straight. Uh, one more time. Why would I name it Mima? O M G, are you for reals? This thing has got a low catch rate. talkative child suddenly stops talking and may have been replaced by Zarua. What? Oh, I'm not naming it that. Not yet. I I'm gonna name. I'm gonna name them later when I get to know them. It'll get XP from XP share for now. Until I can get back to the Pokemon Center.
Grimer I found in the tall grass near the school was defeated. What? Not opening that window. What? mantis between the window and the screen so what it's just a praying mantis I think you'll be fine unless you try to mate with it Look at your Pokemon. Whether it has claws or not, now it would be probably get kicked out of oh, some right there. Quick claw. Woo, quick claw. Alright, so you think I should put the uh, my new Pokemon in front? Pokemon, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, none of you want to battle, I think. You're just all gonna talk shit to me. Alright, maybe they do. Well, you know now. How long have you lived in California? Your whole life? You never seen one? Oh, I guess he did want to fight. <laughs> Preschooler Maya! Alright, don't cry, little kid, when I kick your ass. Wait a minute, I thought I just switched those. Didn't I just switch them? All right, we're definitely glitching out. We're definitely glitching out.
do you mean it's not a glitch? Wanted me to put him first because it does that. It's a shapeshifter. the children that it impersonates. Does it eat them? Give you some orange berries too. Form of the last Pokemon on your team until it gets hit by an attack. And then it switches back to itself. beat everyone else, huh? But don't think that you'll beat me the same way. Ekans' ability is gonna get you. You are challenged by Rising Star Joseph. people up, huh? They probably think that they're getting attacked by one thing. Yeah, I can't wait to battle people, like, when I'm playing um, on Switch, when I play Sword or Shield, probably Sword. I can't wait to do, like, online battles and shit, too. With you, even. I might do a stream where I just take people on if they're into it. Once I get like a decent team, you know? Winning, even after you attack stat is lowered, in Indomitable Spirit indeed. You receive 384 for winning. Intimidate is ability that lowers your opponent's attack stat. If you understand your Pokemon's abilities, you can use the best strategies in battle. But fine, whatever. I can admit when I'm beat, I even give you a reward. Take this technical machine. You open the TM's pocket and put the TM-01 inside. Okay, first thing to know about TM. Technical machines teach new trainers. They'll give your Pokemon a new move in a flash, but if the Pokemon can't learn the move and TM, then too bad. You are up a creek, pal. Second thing to know about TMs. Yep, you can use them forever because HMs don't exist anymore. I get it. Attention all students, would Aloy please come to the office on second floor? Aloy, to the office on second floor, please. What terrible thing did you do to get called to the office so soon? Uh, well, I don't know. So you did do something! Of course, I'm always doing something. I almost kicked 
I almost got kicked out of my own graduation at high school. Aloy, I can't believe that you beat all of my students. Fantastic. After seeing such a performance, I'd like to battle you myself. What do you say? Are you ready to take me on? Yes, yeah, sir. Did you say, yes, sir? I think he said, yeah, sure. I'll be challenging you with a Pokemon that has a type advantage against the Poplio. You chose for your partner. All right, all right. Give me a leaf poke. You're gonna battle me with a leaf Pokemon, are you? A grasser? Do I get to fight her multiple times? So that I can have an actual opponent that has my weakness starter against me? Until you die. Don't. Bye bye. I don't know. Let's see if you can take it. What is fake tears? I didn't even see that it got that. Okay, nope. Um, Pursuit does 40 damage. Scratch does 40 damage. I don't know. I'll try Pursuit and see what happens. Sensational! You received 480 for winning. Nice, but you'd like to take over as teacher. Would maybe you'd like to take over as teacher here for me? All joking aside, though, I do want you to take these for me. It's a little reward for beating me. Oh, great balls! Well, thank you. The great balls. Great balls are better balls at catching Pokemon than normal Pokeballs. Know your Pokemon and know their moves. Those are the basics for being a trainer. How about it? Greetings, Captain Ilima here. I couldn't help but observe your battles. You look so very delightful in battle, I had no choice but to summon you here. This is Aloy, who moved here to the Alola region from the Kanto region. She's got a real sense for how to use moves, and I think she's gonna go as far as a trainer, yeah? Welcome, newcomer. I look forward to seeing the brilliance of your moves in my trial. Indeed, we captains are the ones who conduct the trials you will face on your way to challenging the island Kahuna. My trial is held at Verdant Cavern, the trial of Captain Ilima. 
you can find Pokemon living there, even in the patch of tall grass in Holali City. Perhaps you want to fill out your team a bit before attempting my trial. Yep, that sounds like something I definitely want to do. Sincerely look forward to your challenge. Oh yeah, I reported to the folks upstairs that the Tauros blocking the road out front again. That Tauros is pretty much a celebrity here on Melee Melee, you know? Well, I guess it's time that we dismiss you from school, Aloy. Attention all students, Aloy has completed her lesson at the trainer's school. Be good to your Pokemon and try to follow through with the status conditions too. Good luck with your island challenge. Have fun and give your Pokemon berries you find. Aloy, enjoy your island challenge and be sure to the skills use the skills you learn here at the trainer school. Good luck, future champion. Yep. Let's all keep talking. Yep, I have something to say too. You seem to be in perfect sync with your pop, Leo, weren't you? Uh, since we've come this far, why don't you show me more of the city? Come on, let's that last to see. Aloy, over here! You know, I was really impressed seeing how you battle with your Pokemon at the trainer school. It feels like you're giving it your all for your Pokemon's sake. I think that's why you were able to save Nebby that time, Aloy. Oh, I forgot about Tauros! Oh, if it wasn't Aloy and Lily. Sorry for scaring you, friend. I guess it's time I got old Tauros back home. But I've got an idea. Why not give him a little pat, Aloy? Grab it by the tail. Doesn't seem to have impressed Tauros very much. Alright, alright. Oh my gosh. Ah, oh, you see that? This rascal already loves you. Pokemon become happier and show them some care. Yep. Yep, yep. Yep, 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 yep. Wahaha! Oh, the places you'll go, child. And as you do, I will surely meet more Pokemon and people who will enrich your life. Kahunas sure are something, eh? Even to calm a raging Pokemon without even needing to battle. Now that's something. I mean, I like Taurus plenty and all, but it's pretty scary. I don't want to ride on it. Well, I do. So, where are you two off to now? I was thinking I'll show Aloy around Huawei City a bit. Nice idea. Aloy just got here to Alola, huh? Let me tag along too. I want to get something good to eat. Alright, let's go together. Then, what are we waiting for? This way, come on. So much for going together, you're waving and running away. Oh well, I guess we should go catch up with him before he gets too far, Aloy. Howoli City is the biggest city in all Alola. Alright, time to explore the city tomorrow because I need to relax. I'm not feeling too great tonight. But I will be back tomorrow. Time probably around 8 to 9 o'clock, depending on when I get home from work, unless something crazy happens and I'm stuck at work. But I don't anticipate that. Oh, wait, not tomorrow. I don't have work tomorrow. Tomorrow's Sunday. Uh, so probably around 9 o'clock then. Because I have to be at my parents' house until around 8.30 tomorrow. So 9 o'clock tomorrow. Catch you later.